Hey everybody, Mariko Curry here, bringing you part 15 of Let's Play Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. In this part, we are going to continue on with World 4, with World 4, 7, and World 4, 8. I guess you can't really say it's worlds, they're more of levels, but eh, the case of levels and worlds, you can call them whatever you want. You can call them basically simulations if you want. But anyways, just let's just skip all the rambling and just get started with the levels. Because we are going to finish this world in this video, I promise you that. Ride like the wind. So, are we riding wind or are we just, is this just a figure of speech? Ah! Oh. Okay, I don't know if you saw, if you could tell what I was trying to do there, but I was trying to see if I can keep myself up in the air long enough so that way I can at least get the highest amount of uh, of jump I can get from those Koopa or paratroopers. I think that's a good setup. No. Oh. oh, just barely. All right. All right. Lately, my stroke of luck has been. Eh, so and so. Unlike the last video where I pretty much lost Baby Mario like ten times. Uh, yeah, there's no way. There's no way getting getting that uh those coins. Oh, actually, no, there is a way up there. But I need to do a very good jump right here. <clears throat> and made it. All right. Uh, there's a item cloud up there, but now we need to reach that somehow. All right, let's activate it and launch away. Oh, man, I'm just making close calls right now. And apparently now I'm on top of a... Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any eggs. Uh, can we get some enemies down here? Yes, we can! We get the, even the best the best ones. These little penguin guys. These guys are the best. I just love how they're basically like in... Uh, or recyclable eggs, basically. And the best part is, it looks like I'm going to get some more if... Yep, I, I, it looks like I get some more. So it looks like we're not going to be using eggs this video. Yep, nope. Just Koopa shells and penguin birds. But yeah, it's... So how, is, how, how have you guys been? Me, I've been... better. It's actually getting really cold. I, I, okay, I will st start with the, with the positives. It, it, it's been my uh, mother's birthday, and um, my aunt paid her a visit, a surprise visit, nonetheless. And it was pretty fun. Uh, though I did eat a lot of food that she that she made for us for her birthday, uh, or for uh, my mom's birthday. So yeah, that I'm probably gonna have to work on trying to lose all that. But uh, besides that, oh. wait, is he gone? No, don't let him die. He must live. Okay, these guys are starting to get in the way. All right, let's see if we can make it through that open. No, no, that's there's no way I can get, I'm gonna make it through that opening. Uh, how many do we have? Four. Uh, let's get a couple more, just to be safe. All right. But yeah, besides that, uh, got to play some Nintendo Land. It was actually pretty fun. I mean, we pretty much had a, a f uh, field day with that game. It's a really amazing game, by the way. If you haven't played it yet, or don't have a Wii U, and oh no, we're losing penguins. Uh, if I recall, this is the game where we need to blow up a balloon and ride it, right? Okay. Ha! Ah, nice shot. I need I needed to focus for that one. But yeah, n not really much besides that. Not really much. Oh, I did fix my uh, NES system. Uh, turns out I was completely wrong on the uh, on the call of having to basically purchase some new pin, uh, or like third-party pin connectors uh, from the from uh, from online. 
to fix up my uh, two NESs. I actually have two of them. One for the guest room and one for my own room. Uh, turns out there was this very nice uh, trick to having to fix up your old or the pin connectors that come with your system. Uh, turns out you had to put it in boiling water and that actually does it. Uh, you also need to like jam an NES game in and out of the slot so that way the pin connectors uh, bend into place so that way your NES games uh, actually come in contact with the pins. And really, it was re it was it actually worked. I, I was actually skeptic uh, of having to put your uh, take out the pin connectors and put them in boiling water. It sounds like it, so it sounds like something some person would just put on the internet just to see if people would actually do it. But apparently, it actually works. My NES game, my uh, NESs were actually working much more better than they, they did with uh, the pin connectors uh, that were purchased online. And uh, these guys are. Can I please get in the door? Thank you. All I ever wanted was to go inside a door my whole entire life. And I was denied that. These people are racial against door... or hen uh, handicapable door-opening dinosaurs, I guess. I don't know where I was going with that joke. Alright. Found a key, so there must be some sort of door out somewhere around here. Uh, can we make it back up there? Okay, no, we have to actually take the uh, ladder. Oh, there's bullet bills, and of course they would hide it in there. Aha! All right, yeah, there's a flower up there. We want to go get that. Oh, but we can't. We gotta go around. Oh, see? Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, good. Oh, ho oh, ho. Almost fell down there. Alright. Oh. Okay. I could have probably jumped on that. Couldn't have I. Couldn't have I. Couldn't I. There we go. And with that, let's go in here and see what minigame we got. And we got Gathering Coins. I actually don't think if. I actually don't remember if we did this one. Grab more coins than your enemy before the time reaches zero, and my foot is cramping. Ah! I actually have to... Uh, I, I, that's one of the things that actually was bad about this week. In general, ah, it's been cold! And with that, I have, to, I have to do this video in bed, so that way I can wrap myself up to keep myself warm. Anyways, we gotta gather the coins, so basically we just gotta get the most coins than anybody else, or than the bandit. This one I don't think is that hard of a game. You just have to basically make sure you have the timing right with your jumps, so that way you can actually get it. Uh, also, it also helps to avoid the bandit, because he can paralyze you, or like, slow you down, and cause you to not get any coins. But you can also do the same to him, if you are able to. But I think I pretty much got this in the bag. I still don't understand why he just floats there. But let's get our cloud item and hope my foot doesn't cramp anymore. Uh, no, go back. Thank you. I actually thought that if I should probably just keep flutter jumping, but <laughs> now that I look at this, it looks like that would have been a bad idea. If you think you can flutter jump through a whole entire level, you're gonna have a bad time. I have been watching way too much anime. Oh, gods! Oh my god! I, I was not prepared for that. I actually did not see that coming. Okay, then. Uh, please fast forward to the part where I actually got back where I was before I made that mistake.
Careful. Careful. Okay. Oh. Oh, God. That is some... Very... I, I need a dictionary. I need a dictionary whenever I'm making videos, because I can never find the right words for certain situations. <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> Oh my god. Well, goodbye. <laughs> Go, my friend. Oh no. He ne he didn't make it out. <laughs> god. That section. That is some pretty and I think the only issue is not really that it's hard. Is that it just looks like I should be doing, like, some perfect jumping for that part. It doesn't really look like any kind of moment where I need to uh, just write it. That's why... I, I, that's what I suspect. I suspect that you're just supposed to write it out, but it just looks like I'm supposed to do some tricky jumping. But anyways, fast forward. Alright, let's test my theory if I'm actually right. Well, it's not really a theory, but, I, but what I suspect that you're actually supposed to be doing. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, God. Um, actually... Check my menu real quick. Ooh, just by three. Uh, do I have any tens? How many do I have actually? Oh, a pretty good amount. I'll I'll use one up. And that's not how you use one up. That's not how you use one up either. There we go. Might as well get this one out of the way, as since we have the chance to. Oh, and it looks like we get a bonus challenge on top of that. All right. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. So if we ever do need to do a 100% run, or basically return to this game and do a 100% run, that part's already done. And it looks like we got item card game. All right. Chemic on first window. I knew it! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. But yeah, I called that. Oh, this looks from this guy looks familiar. Hmm. Well, anyways, let's head off to 48. Titled Hookbill the Koopa's Castle. Or Hookbill the Koopa's Castle. And now we made ghost eggs. But anyways, I guess this is a good time to, besides, uh, go through the level, but, uh, also talk about something about an unfortunately cancelled Let's Play I was planning on doing. Uh, if you remember, like, near the beginning of my Let's Play channel, I did, uh, three Let's Plays that involved somewhat of my own kind of style. Well, not style, but, like, interpretation of, uh, of characters and or games. Uh, those being Journey to Silius, uh, Magical Dorothy, and Sweet Home. And the thing is, is that uh, I was planning on doing another one because I actually did like making those videos, and now that I have much more, uh, in much more like advanced software. I think I could probably do much more cleaner looking uh, let's plays or like versions of that kind of let's play. Uh, the issue being is that the next game I was planning on doing, and what do I do here, actually? Oh, I break the rock, alright. Uh, the issue being is that, uh, there we go, is that I, the game that I was planning on doing was Metal Storm for the NES. 
the issue was that uh, I, had already, I already had a, a story planned out and I haven't made the uh, sprites or like the cutscene uh, images in 8-bit or like NES format. But uh, I did have almost everything set up for that Let's Play. Unfortunately, I had to play test the game just the same as during the Silius and uh, Magical Dora P. So that way the Let's Play didn't go too, uh, too long on one level. Unfortunately, the uh, game is really, really, really short. I was actually hoping for the game to be much more longer. Or at least longer than I expected, and the thing is that it really isn't, so... The whole entire Let's Play of the game would, would be very short, and not much story would be able to be put into it. Granted, Magical Dorothy wasn't that long of a game either, but it did have cutscenes in it, or or story implemented into it, and I was able to build upon that. Metal Storm, even on its on, in uh, on the Famicom, had barely to no story into it. I mean, it did have an ending and a intro, uh, and, and an intro, and the same could be said about Journey to Silius. All it had was just only a ending and intro. Or basically an uh, an intro and a static ending, a static image ending. But still, uh, Metal Storm seems to have, not to mention, uh, Magical Dorothy and Journey to Silius's uh, levels were much more longer. Granted, they, they they had less level, they had well not less levels, but very few levels. They did have much more longer uh, levels than Metal Storm. I was able to get through uh, world, or not world, but levels three, I mean, uh, one through three, possibly four, in just about, like, 20 minutes. And seeing as these uh, Yoshi's Island videos are about 20 minutes long, they, <laughs> that, tell, that tells you that it's probably going to be just a two-parter. So that's why I had to cancel the Metal Storm game, or not game, uh, Let's Play. Uh, as terms for the story, uh, by on the other hand, I'll give you basically a quick rundown what the story was going to be. Uh, the story was basically going to be that uh, Melody, another one of my uh, own per uh, original characters, like Mariko and Honoka, and Masayo, who didn't really get a his own game yet. I'm actually planning on changing that because there is one game in particular I actually want to do with uh, Masayo. But besides that, uh, it would basically have Melody as the main hero. However, I wonder if I actually could have gotten that. Let's actually try it. Hold on. I'm gonna try this. Oh, nice shot. Ah, oh, but I can't get those. Can I? No, I can't. Uh, door. Let's go inside of it. Uh, the story is that Melody in Santoko is basically enjoying her, or not really enjoying, she's basically cleaning up the, her not, somewhat repair shop kind of st uh, place. I haven't really gone, or haven't completed the official, or in this case unofficial since I'm not so, uh, of, a, of an official business or something. Uh, or animation studio or such, uh, but basically an official story for the whole, or like lifestyle of the whole entire characters. I already know their personalities and such, but or made a personality and such for them. But I haven't co uh, come up with what they, where they live uh, permanently, and where and what they uh, do. But besides that, uh, back to the story. Uh, it would basically take place where Melody is cle is cleaning up. Uh, her repair shop. Uh, actually, what do I do here? Oh, okay, Koopa Shell. And this random uh, robotic spaceship, or like robot, kind of transformer thing. If you if you played uh, Metal Storm, you know what I'm talking about. Basically, the robot ship that you control uh, has crash landed, and base and the the pilot of the ship. Uh, is severely injured. Melody dashes into the woods where the ship has landed, where the, ro the robot suit has landed, and uh, tries to help out the... Actually, there's something up there. It's making me wonder. Aha! 
let's get some eggs actually. Uh, and basically tr takes him into the shop and tell and he tells the story of how an evil villain, which I haven't really f even finished the story at all. Uh, I was only by that point. It was originally just gonna be. Uh, really, that's it? Just a red. I'm leaving. But yeah, basically tells the story of how a villainous person maybe might connect to my my uh, character's main antagonist. But uh, tells of a evil villain that has a space station ready to destroy the Earth. Uh, but seeing now he's injured uh, and the robot is in dire need of repairs, uh, there is no hope for or there's no chance of him saving the saving the world. So basically, since Melody is rel relatively uh, handy at robotics and that in general. Or uh, and repairing and controlling mechanical technology uh, or technolo te technologically savvy, uh, basically offers to help to help him out by taking control of the ship and taking on the uh, the space station on her own. And oh, it looks like we got another breakout segment. Oh my God, that's awesome! <laughs> I love this! Or actually, you know what? It's not really uh, Breakout, it's uh, Arkanoid, I'm gonna guess, that it's actually trying to do. It's trying to uh, recreate uh, Arkanoid since that... or not Arkanoid. Or actually, no. Uh, or Arkanoid or Alleyway. I think it's Alleyway. Uh, a Game Boy game created by Nintendo. Which basically had Mario control a Breakout, or not, like, the paddle and such. Maybe that's what it was referring, uh, or like, trying to recreate into this. But anyways, yeah, basically Melody goes off into action and talks about, and basically has in, in-game cut, or not in-game cutscenes, but like in-between cutscenes of, uh, was I supposed to go down there? Apparently not! But yeah, basically has in uh, in-between game cutscenes that tell of, uh, what she suspects is the villain and gets like a couple hints f like f from a voice in the in the room of the villain and such but like I said it's cancelled because the game didn't have much for me to work with and whoa this wait did we just walk into Silent Hill oh Koopa. Little Koopa, come through for me now. Go forth and rock Yoshi's world. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I think that Koopa has been on too much LSD. Uh oh. <laughs> that face. That is a silly face. Oh god, can we just hit him in the face? Ah, uh, this... This guy is amazing. Oh gods! And he's spitting out eggs. And he seems... He has the face of enjoyment. I don't know what to say about this boss. Oh gods. But apparently... <laughs> it's... It, this is... Okay, this this game has just gone strange. I, I, I'm this got this game has gone to Yoshi's uh, story kind of strange. Okay, we need to hit him like three times in order to basically put him into the one weakness of a turtle, not able to get off get up from his from being upside down. Now we'll take those. Thank you. Alright. Oh. Oh, gods. Eat eggs. And I have no more eggs. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you guys have 
probably know, uh, have taken, or probably, uh, am thinking the same thing as I do, but, uh, doesn't he look like the turtle, or not turtle, but Koopa that was blocking the pathway for Mario in Paper Mario, uh, for the N64? He does resemble that kind of, that Koopa. But I don't know if that's actually what they were, if that was, if this is actually where it came from, and I just can't seem to knock him down and keep Mario at all today. It's going to cough out a couple more eggs. It's actually a way for him to actually... Okay. And... Alright, good. Get him in the face! Oh, no, I can't get another hit. And... Oh, here we go. Okay, good. We're good. And nothing different, actually. I do suspect that he's going to charge at us. That's what I'm... Okay, I guess not. So let's just finish him off, basically. Yep. Last hit, I'm going to guess. Yeah, it's the standard three hits and you're dead kind of type of boss. <laughs> and Yoshi and Mario have now mastered the art of standing in midair. But with that, it looks like we've finished World 4. Though this video probably went over... Not counting the uh, sped up footage in 4.7, oh, I'm gonna guess this video has gone through about 7... Tw 20... 27 or 26 minutes. I'll have to check in, uh, in editing. But with that... I claim this land now to dinosaurs everywhere. At least until the Ice Age happens. But yeah, with that, we made it to the next world, World 5, and we're just almost barely close to World 6, the final world. But unfortunately, we're going to have to end it off here. So, if you like this part, subscribe to my videos, white little button, give me a good thumbs up, review down below this video, and check out my other parts if you like this one. In the next part, we are going to start uh, World 5 with 5-1, five, 5-2, five, and possibly 5-3. I will see you guys next time.